This is a January 31st, 1994 article titled Tainted by Drugs in the Southern African News of the Southern African Research and Documentation Center. Amend the Constitution to Legalize Drug Trade was the amazing headline which appeared recently in the Zambian Weekly Post newspaper. If I were the president's advisor, wrote columnist Joey Mwinga, I would persuade him to amend the constitution to legalize the drug trade. Legalizing drugs would make us a more honest, open people. No more dark corner transactions or unconvincing denials, Mwinga wrote. We'd all be so rich, we would never need the consultative group again, said Mwinga. Concluding that what he found most gratifying was that everyone could then afford to wear Pierre Cardin suits. The column, of course, was very tongue-in-cheek. The Weekly Post has long been in the forefront of a campaign against alleged Zambian drug barons and traffickers, some of whom it has named. The consultative group of donors to whom the newspaper referred were highly unamused when they met in Paris a few days later. If Zambian President Frederick Chiloua did not purge his cabinet of alleged drug dealers and corrupt politicians, they would withhold desperately needed aid. They bluntly told the Zambian delegation. In late 1991, when Chiloua and the Movement for Multi-Party Democracy, MMD, resoundingly defeated Kaunda and his United National Independence Party, UNIP, Chiloua promised a clean government. After an initial honeymoon period, when Chiluba's election victory was hailed by many, including former U.S. President Jimmy Carter, as a major victory for democracy, rumors began to abound about increased drug trafficking and corruption.